All right, Spy Guys, so where are we here on day three of Elvis Week 2023? This is, this street here back in the 50s was called Bells, B-E-L-Z. It is now called Eldridge. That's why it took a little while to figure this out. But this a particular apartment, if you will, this is a, tr a, du a quadruplex. It's four units. There's a door there, door there, and around the corner it's L-shaped. There's two more doors, so there's, there's four units here. This is where Scotty Moore lived on July the 4th, 1954, when Elvis came here to audition for Scotty and Bill. Bill lived right down the street down here. In fact, if you'll step out, you'll see there's a unit down there that's boarded up. The windows are boarded up. You can barely make it out right down there. That was Bill's apartment. And so what Bobby said was, if you've watched my, or I don't know that I put this part of the interview with Bobby out, but I think I have. But Bobby said that, that Elvis came at 12 o'clock that afternoon. It was a Sunday afternoon, July the 4th. He knocked on the door. She let him in. Scotty was in this bedroom where these two windows are to your left. That was their bedroom, playing his guitar. She said, hey, that guy's here. He said, what guy? He had forgot Elvis was coming. He came out, met Elvis. She said she came out and walked down to Bill's house down there to talk to Evelyn, told Bill that, Scott, that Elvis was up here and Scotty. Bill walked back down here and walked in that apartment right there. This apartment and Elvis right here. Presley auditioned for Bill and Scotty in that apartment through that window right there. That, that living room right there is where he auditioned. That day, uh, Bobby told me that her and Evelyn stayed down there about an hour, hour and a half, and then they walked back up here. And of course, keep in mind, no air conditioner, so all the windows are open, the doors are open. You could hear Elvis in this whole neighborhood. And she said that they walked in, sat down on the couch, and some other neighbors had gathered around and were listening to Elvis. And what impressed Scotty the most, Scotty told me that later that day he talked to Sam, and Sam said, well, what'd you think? He said, he's an okay singer, but he knows a lot of songs. He was impressed by the amount of songs that he knew. So he said, do you think it would be worth getting him in to record something? He said, yeah. So the next night on Monday night, July the 5th, Elvis went to work, Crown Electric. That night he goes over to Memphis Recording Service and they record That's All Right Mama. The version that you hear today was recorded the next day. Elvis walked through that door, met Scotty and Bill the first time. The next day they record That's All Right Mama. So that means this probably is the place that really was changed Elvis' life by this audition, this if, night in his life. If this day didn't happen, you wouldn't know who Elvis Presley is. And we would not be standing here. That's exactly right. It happened right here. And the reason I know it's here is multiple reasons. First, I was able to confirm that this was Bell's. Right. That unit is 983. Mm -hmm. In Scotty's book, he actually, he actually describes the layout of the rooms. So this apartment is the opposite of the layout. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. He says, you go in, there's a living room, there's a small uh, hallway, there's a bathroom to the right, you turn left, the kitchen, to the left is the bedroom. He describes this apartment in his book exactly how it's laid out. So all of this was his apartment? No, no. Just that, this too? That's the bedroom, living room, the other side is, a, it's basically a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, yeah. And a storage closet so and a bathroom. That's another apartment. That's a that's the apartment around on the, the front. Wow, that's mm -hmm. cool. And something unique about this building is look on these corners. I always thought this was interesting. Did you um, lock the door? Yeah. Okay. yeah. You see this? Yeah. And look at that one over there. See, they did that over there too. Yeah. You're right. Right mm -hmm. there. And one more little tidbit is that red house right there. That was Isaac Hayes' mother's house. Yeah, that was right there. That's cool. So let's go look at the uh, the Firestone Tower. All right, let's do that. It and looks also, like it's down. Also, I'm gonna rock, walk up on the deck on the yeah. porch here. But look, look right here. What is, is this version? No, this is them doing tile in there now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so Elvis Walt right here. I wonder how nervous he was when he was standing he here for, really for the first time. I mean, you got to think like an audition. He had prepared. Okay, well, think about it. Think about this, Trey. Elvis had prepared his entire life 
for that day. Mm -hmm. His and, entire life. That's why have, he learned all those songs. Yeah. And he had prepared up till that day. Yeah. His whole life was a preparation for what happened through that door. And up there. we know that, and we and because you know we've uncovered that before this, a year before this, he's trying to, to join bands here mm -hmm. in Memphis. He auditioned for Eddie Bonds and got turned down. So he pro he would have driven the Zephyr. He would have, the Lincoln Zephyr would have been what he would have driven at Part the time. Timer. Probably right here. Yeah. But there's a there's also a photo of Scotty here. And I think you could see that house right there. There's a photo of him standing here in a car park. Yeah. So there's a photo from that time frame. Man, that's cool, Billy. Man, but just think. And what was she, what was he wearing? Elvis was wearing, from my memory, Bobby described it. I think it was white pants with pink stripes. White pants, pink stripes, standing here that night. Changed his life by going in that door. And she described him as looking like a hoodlum. You know, scary looking. All right, let's go check this yeah. other place out. Let's go. All right, I'm back. The wall is still signed. Glenn, Sonia, Lynn, Wakefield from England. Do you watch Glow Trotting with Trey? Gave you a shout out if you did. This girl loves Elvis. They're rocking in Dublin. DVDs, I mean BVDs, love Elvis. The Dryden family was here in 2023. I just missed them. Lowell 33 was here. Might be my friend. Uh, hey Karen, how you doing? The home on the hilltop. And I found an article I'm showing you right now. And we're gonna explore that on a future episode of Globe Riding and Train. Elvis was considering bar, uh, buying a farm. And uh, I'm gonna point something out in the article later on, which kind of talks about Graceland. And, uh, well, you just have to stay tuned uh, to learn what that is. Elvis Week 2023 is upon us. Join us in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Come to Graceland Tour, the grounds. Have a good time. Ride around on a three hour tour with myself and the spa guy. What is it about Elvis that makes you, you guys a fan? Well, Elvis is the love of my life. The only one uh, that didn't vanish. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm from Romania. I have been a fan all my life. Romania? Romania. How many hours away is that? Three planes away. Three planes away. Wow. All right, my friend. Now, you've been on a few episodes of Globe Trotting with Trey in the past. You went to the museum when the museum was open. Tell us about Elvis. What makes you an Elvis fan? Well, um, um, when I was a little boy, the only thing I heard was Elvis here, Elvis there, Elvis everywhere. My uncle is 10 years older. My brother is five years older. And they brought in all these records and I listened to them all day, from morning till night. And I loved them, from the first note till the last one. I loved every record. And I still love them. What's your favorite song? I, I have a favorite song. What is Most it? of the Elvis songs will say, I love all of the records, but it's only love. It's only love. That's my favorite. That is a great song, man. Yeah. All right, and where are you from? Belgium. Belgium. How many hours away is that? Three places. Well, if you have to walk <laughs> over there, <laughs> it's Three a long way. Away. It's, uh, it's in Europe, so it's between France, the Netherlands, England, and Germany. So in three, the middle. Yeah, three planes away again. I take two. Two. You don't to, take two. I took one to Chicago to come here, and I go back to Newark and then Brussels. Wow, man. But you're always here. I, I've seen you many times. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've been here 38 times now. 38 times. Yeah. All right, Elvis Week 2023, are you, are you doing all the events? You, are you going to be everywhere? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be not everywhere, but at a lot of places. A lot of places, <laughs> man. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much interview. for your work. Hey, thank you for watching. We appreciate I, I do it, it for a people. lot. I do it for you. For, you know, thank if you, you so love much Elvis, that's what I make the shows for. I watch the spy guy great. a lot on the internet. He's great. Thank you all.
Thank you so much. <laughs> I just want to see the back of your uh, jacket. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turn around for me. Turn around, please. Look at there. That's pretty cool, man. Go cat, thank, go. Thank you, thank you. I love it. Hey, why are you an Elvis fan? Yeah, absolutely. You love Elvis? Yeah, for my life. <laughs> All your life. Cool, man. But hey, have fun for me. Thank you, thank you. All right, so some fan captured Elvis coming out of the gates. Look at the crowd here. Look across the street at that podium. And all the grassy area. That is captured right here. There's the point today. And where that grass is, I'm showing you again. The grass is where the Lisa Marie is. So all this was part right here about to pull out on Elvis Presley pull apart. Let this tour bus go by. He was right here. Looks like he's gonna turn left in that photo. But yeah, fam which is right here. Standing where I'm at. That photo was captured. Lisa Marie and Elvis. DJ Bill Black. Elvis. Scotty, Sam Phillips, Dewey Phillips, and Bernard Lansky here with Elvis. Whoever does that, I hope you watch the show. Really good job. Hey, Kenny. Yes, sir. Yeah, and we wanted to build build your place up here. I just uh, interviewed a guy out here that said that if you want to find something, you can find it in here. He just went out with a whole sack of of stuff. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the auction that's coming up. Sunday. I hope so. 10 a.m. I think this stuff's going to be out on display in here, so going to bring you a lot of people. Yeah, but man, look, Kenny has everything. He has all these old... Let's see what you got. Look there. You got a sun release? Let's see what that looks like. Look at there, guys. That's not it. That's not it. Really? An American trilogy. So the birthplace. They would give you free, Correct. and you're saying how many years ago? 82. In the 80s, early 80s. That's pretty cool right yep. there. Yep. Yep. So Kenny has it here, if you're in town. Absolutely. What, else, what else is something really neat we need to see? That's his first album, guys. Wow. How did you find that, Kenny? You don't know, can't even remember. Yeah, it looks like it's in a really good condition, too. What about this GI Blues? What is this? Over here on the left, there's some kind of like advertising. That's a paper hat, okay. Okay. So that was given out to fans that went to the movies. That's cool. $100. You can own it. What is all this stuff over here? I remember last year you had some things in the. Um, here's a tough one, Trey, right here. That's one of the Vegas places. That particular one is 1972. 1972, Vegas. Oh, man. That's awesome. Look at it. Yeah, you have a few of those and kind of different. There's two, two different colors. And I know I've seen some of those hats before. Oh, okay. <laughs> man, that is cool, man. 
Oh, and I see the sign now. A dollar twenty-five. So he has the sign over here that says "Now on Sale." Gals, guys, here it is. The Elvis Presley hat for a dollar twenty-five. So if you go and travel to Woolworths, maybe you can still get it for a dollar twenty-five. Maybe a hundred and twenty-five now. <laughs> Man, yeah, you have some great stuff, Kenny. So okay, so if fans can't make it here, is there a way they can contact you? You have a card. Let's. Check. I'm going to show you all this card, guys. Yeah, because Kenny has a really cool card. Look at that. So I have an email for you. Grits.va at att.net. Well, man, I'll be back in here a few times. So I'll be coming over here and hanging out with you. How about that? Love it. And there's all kind of other stuff, too, to check out. All kind of stuff. I've seen this guy a lot. So Jimmy's not here this year, is it? Jimmy Velvet? We have all kind of books. So if you're trying to look for a certain book of Elvis, come check it out. You need to get this one. This is Charlie Hodges' book right here. I found one signed by him. But this is Charlie's other photo. I've never seen that one right there. I'm not sure. I think that might have been the original. There's Elvis and Charlie on set. Charlie at the gates of Graceland. Elvis making a funny face at someone. There's Charlie with Lisa and Priscilla. And look here. Here's Charlie's autograph. That's pretty cool, guys. You gotta get that book right there. It's signed by Charlie Hodge. It's a hard one to find, too. Have you seen that? That's Charlie Hodge. He autographed that book. Might be a good one to buy right there. It's a, it's a really good story. I've seen, I've, I've read it before. Oh, see, like Billy. Hey, what's going on? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I figured I'd really run into you. I so. have a lot of books. Books. Oh, you do. I, I have no time to read. It. You don't have no time to read. What do you mean you have hey, no time you know, to read? I know you. Yes, it's a very cool place because I when I'm coming to America, I'm coming every time here. Just uh, and I have here a lot of friends. I did not see them uh, from Travel Lodge, uh, the, pe the persons, uh, uh, J J Jimmy, uh, Rosa, they are perfect people. I, I was last year here and now I have another hotel because for a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. And I am come every year when I have money, <laughs> I'm coming back here. Every and Spyga and you are fantastic to meet you. And I mean it. Well, I appreciate you. I like it here. This is my second home. <laughs> All right, guys. So he walks around with a sign on the back telling you what he has for sale. That's smart. I like it. Girl happy insert. And you have them all. Speedway, one sheet, well, uh, live a little, love a little. Elvis now at the Hilton menu. Cool, man. That's cool right there. What, what is that? What is what? The school binder. Yeah. So that was a, a skull a zipper binder. I've never seen that before. Okay. Yeah. Now I wonder how many girls had that back in the day in '56. You want to hear? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All of them had it. And the boys. I so did one. you have one of those back in 1956, 55? Well, I guess it'll be 56, 57. You put on your school books. And those books were big back then too. The 50 on that. And he has the Elvis Presley game here. Twenty on this. Is that Sorry. a shoe box? I put ten on that. Yeah, that's the Elvis shoes yeah. that we talk about in '56. I put uh, twenty on this and see what happens. Are the shoes in there? No. The shoes aren't in there. Okay, but that is the box that they came in. The box is thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred bucks, doc, for that box, and it's worth it because if the shoes were in there. It'd be five grand because that box is almost. Brand new. So if the shoes were in there, it would be five grand, five thousand. In that condition, yes. How in the world did you find this box? Believe it or not, at a movie sale. Got a good deal, right? I'm not going to oh, put it in there. Got a good deal, right? I bought all of it. 
Heartbreak Hotel, Malusue Shoes. I need you. I want you. I love you. That's pretty cool. I have a um, pistol. I'm a big Pistol Pete Maravich basketball fan. Okay. And uh, he did some shoes like in the 70s. Okay. And uh, he, they have his like photo like Elvis on the box. I was able to find one of those, man. That's cool. I love it. $3,500, guys. You can own it. Yeah, you have a, always have a lot of really cool Thank things you. here. Thank you. So come and visit August uh, until August the 15th, right? right? They'll be here until August the 15th, set up in here. Yes. Right here. By the faces. Elvis Presley, the King comes back on December 30th, 1975. Wow. You know, all those old songs. I actually got 40 bucks down. Carl Perkins. I met him about four times. He was the nicest freaking guy I've ever met. Oh, it's an autograph by Wayne. Look at that. He's a little stand back. That's what the Hilton used to look like. The side of the building was Elvis. I assume. Yeah, that's that's. Was that real? Was that was it really an Elvis photo like that? Yeah, I didn't like Elvis. Wow. Did you ever see that? Arthur. Yeah. Just saw the two blocks. Got sick. Found it fun. He has a lot of memorabilia. This guy has all kinds of stuff. Like, there's Elvis and Spa Guy, 50% owned building with a Tiger Man. Cool. Yeah, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. It was like Spa Guy just bought something. Yeah. I told you I'm dealing. <laughs> hey, wheeling and dealing today. So you got to come see him. Give me a badge. Oh, yeah. right. right behind me. Is so it like you, a badge? You like uh, the yeah, you will. Huh? Is it like the Colonel? Like Colonel Parker? What about it? Like Willing and Dylan? Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. The only thing I don't do is I don't Thank buy hundred dollar cigars like you do. <laughs> I mean, you need to, man. You get a cigar and sit in here tomorrow. There's the Mary Graceland. Right here. I, I figured you'd be here. Right? I haven't got my official shirt on, but yeah. I'm here. No, you How got you your doing, Craig? Football shirt on. I'm doing good, man. How you doing, Tim? I'm doing fine. Billy and I, we're about to go do our three-hour tour. I figured y'all was headed that way. So we, uh, sold out, I'm sure. We are. We are. I didn't see y'all come in. Sold so uh, look who it is, spy guy. It is the mayor of Graceland. <laughs> <And> so. <laughs> So, unofficial. So tell us something. It is unofficial. Tell us something good. Well, I'm just tickled to death to be here for another Elvis week. So I know that's right. Everything's rocking. I'm that's looking right. for deals. And they will come down here and yeah. help him find some deals. Right. Moses had his people. Martin Luther King had his. I've got mine. Yeah. So. And there's. A, I've already seen a lot of really interesting things in here. Too. Oh yes, sir. I'm. I'm trying to get my wallet okay. ready to do You'll a little buy. Mine. I I'm trying. Have to have some money. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I didn't get your name. What's your name, Bruce? Bruce, you said you watched my show. I do, yeah. Hey, I appreciate you, Bruce, man. But you're over here at the Travel Lodge. You just did the Elvis Fan Collector Show. Right. Tell me about it. Should Elvis fans come over here and, and check them out? Oh, absolutely. If you're an Elvis fan, you need to be in there. Yeah. yeah I'm just saying you got to be in there. I saw you had a bag. Oh, yeah. Did you buy a few things? Oh, yeah, a few things. Uh, I was trying to complete a collection of uh, calendar cards, uh, the promotional cards from RCA. I think I did manage to do that okay. in there. So if you're looking for something on Elvis, it's probably there. So you tell me there's all kind of memorabilia. Oh yeah, that's everything up in there. Hey, did you know Sunday they're having the big uh, auction here? Yeah, I did hear about that, yes. You might need to come back and check that out if you're in town because I think they start displaying them at 10 a.m. and at 6 p.m. is when the auction starts. Yes. So yes. I don't know what kind of stuff is some of Elvis's memorabilia. Yeah, I don't know what's going to be uh, up for auction, but if it belongs to Elvis, then we need it. Where are you from, Bruce? I'm from Humboldt, Tennessee. All right, man. Well, hey, like I said, I appreciate you watching the show. Thank you for giving me this interview. And fans, Bruce said, come over and check uh, the Elvis Fan Collector show out at the Travel Lodge. Absolutely. And it's not too far off from uh, Elvis Presley. No, no, no. It's just right around the corner almost. All right, man. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Bruce. Have a good one. So I want to show you this. I think this is uh, interesting Elvis history. Elvis worked here at Precision Tool. Some say when he was in high school. I can definitely put him because I found his ticket stub on... Uh, the internet from March 1954 right before he goes to Crown Electric in April of 54 and then becomes famous Elvis worked here at Precision Tool once upon a time before he was Elvis Presley rock and roller his cousin I'm gonna put his name right now over the screen his cousin died and here a terrible cruel death he fell in some kind of what was it a 
what did the, he fall fall into? I like think a, it was a vat of hot oil or, or a vat of or hot some caustic yeah. material. It's ter some kind of terrible death. Yeah, something hot. I it guess was something to say. Hot. Right here. So it's this building, and then there's two other buildings on this property. This is a big piece. And I'm gonna show you. You see that door down there up the steps? Right there, that yeah. Been the door you would go in to go to work. So Elvis. They would have probably clocked in through there. Probably clocked in through that door. So we need to get in there, spy guy. Yeah, let's go knock that door down. Let's do it. And when he went to the unemployment office on his application, he wrote under leisure time activity, scenes, plays, ball, working on car, going to the movies. It was Precision tool, Marl Metals, that's it. A furniture manufacturer. This was Marl Metal, 1952 September. This was Marl Metals. This building right mm -hmm. here. Another place? Yeah. Just remember Marl. Marl. M-A-R-L. Metals. Metal products. They, they made furniture. And he only works here briefly? It says September 52. Okay, so that's before Precision. Oh yeah, that would have been still in high school. This is, he's in high school coming yep. here. Interesting. So, this would have been, he would have worked here um, j just months before um, being kicked out of Lauderdale. He used to have windows here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well this whole thing was, this is a big building. You can tell back in the day. So where, how close is that to this other stuff? Um, straight over. Oh, and I'll tell you something else that's right here. Yeah, there's the, uh, there's the, the there's train, where, where the train station the was. Right there. There's the video footage of yep. it right here. Yeah. It's real close to all the other stuff. Yeah, and Elvis worked there, another building. Spagnolia, did you see Spa? Yeah. This is the train station. The train station was on that location. The one that he came back from Germany. Germany. And uh, met uh, uh, Gary Pepper Gary was there Pepper. to meet Those photos I'm showing right now. Gary mm -hmm. Pepper was right there. On that land once upon a time. Don't real men. Don't. Real men don't murder. So we... <laughs> okay. Don't. Real men don't murder. Wow. They have to have a sign like that now? So friends, we're living in a time when they put up billboards to tell you not to murder other people. What in the world has the world come to? So now we're, we're buying billboards to tell people not to kill other people. What the Fuji Maduji? I would just say, come on, man. Come on now. <laughs> Look at that. Man. No helmet. We're just gonna ride right into uh Mill Street. Yeah. So I didn't I don't know that I've ever come this way through here. So guys, this is where the rockin' soul museum is. Right beside the FedEx Forum, where the Grizzlies play, and Alfred's is right here. Right there. On Bill. This, this is the balcony I showed you the other day. You need to eat here once again. And that is the Alfred yeah. from Batman, by the way. Yeah. There's Bill Street during the day. And the Peabody. And some more Elvis locations I'm not going to tell you because you got to join us on our three hour tour this week. A Go get three your tickets. Hour two. Tell us, my guy, we have a, a few three tickets. Three hour Available two. For later on the week. We have a few left. Uh, so you need to go to MemphisBusTour.com and go and see if you can. Uh, if you have a time that you can uh, ride with us. We're doing part one and two every day until the 16th. That's right. So we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Join us. A three hour tour. Three hour tour. Weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tough. Yesterday it really was. One of them. They did that fundraiser over at the park over there off of uh, Elvis Presley. This is the first paid show. Elvis uh, was one of the people on the uh, on the bill that day and he was opening for Slim Whitman. Y'all remember Vial Condios, my darling? 
Slim Whitman. Remember in the 80s, they were they had the, sh the commercials on TV where you could buy Slim Whitman albums. That's the Overton Park shell right there. That is the very first place that Elvis got paid to sing. I think you built the shell, didn't you? You donated money for the shell? They're having a concert, but it looks like they're going to get some rain. We saw Lisa Marie sing there. We sure did you did. really? We sure yeah. did. And Priscilla was sitting in that side door with the kids. Yeah. Wow. They were the twins. Yeah. What That's year was that? Just what like year? The, well, like she was doing her CD. 2015 or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. 13, That's wild. something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So that was where he did the very first concert that he got paid money. And mm -hmm. on the bill, he was Ellis Presley, mm -hmm. by the way. <laughs> they yeah. misspelled it. They didn't know Elvis yet. Yeah. And we'll show you, we're going around behind the building, we'll show you where the um, the back door is. The we Trey and I went in and interviewed the guy and went in the building. The dressing rooms are in the basement, but you have to come out to go in the basement. You have to come out and go downstairs. So you can actually see the back door. And the left side from my memory was the men's and the right was the women's because the women's dressing was a lot larger. So we think the men's is on the left. Am I right about that? Yeah, it's yeah. on the left-hand side. I believe that's right. And about every time we come here, they have something impeding us from seeing the back of the building. There's usually a trailer sitting here or something. It's <clears throat> a neat little forklift. So they don't have anything impeding them. Look at that. So he would have come out that back door, and the left door that's open right there would have been the men's dressing room back then. And what you see inside, there's some photos of him in there. We actually did a line of one of them. Do we have that? We don't have that photo in the thing. But there's a photo of him standing there with his guitar. And you can actually see the lines in the wall behind him, and we were able to do that line up inside of there. Originally, those doors were on this side and these doors were on that side. So you can actually find photos where the, see on the outside of the doors how they have the double handles? You'll find photos where the double handle was on this side. And what ended up happening is the building expanded and they had problems so the doors wouldn't open. They found that if they switched them, the doors would work. And another thing, a car hit that door so that is a replica, the far left. But these walls were not here and this would have been larger than this. And the concession stand would have been right here. Y'all come on this way. Y'all come this way. Check this out. This seat would have been about here to the screen. Now watch your step. So it would have been about here, and the screen would have been right there. And of course, it would have been low like this all the way, you know, been seats all the way. In a minute, we'll show you that seat. They have it. The one he would have sat in right here. But it's a lot larger in here than I really would have thought that it would be. It's, it's really large. And you find a lot of photos of Elvis and the guys coming in that back door back there. There's mm -hmm. double doors. So if you've watched my video where they're outside the doors, the doors are right there. And there's also evidence of Elvis coming through that side door, which would have been the alley back then. She even said there's stories of Elvis riding a motorcycle down that alley. That's what everybody says. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Courtney's a girl to talk to about doing the tour of the place. And some, some people are already booked for the tour. Somebody Who's booked? Was it you? She's you booked, booked tomorrow for it, Courtney. Are you? Oh, good. Yeah. We well, got the double tour. Yes. So you could come back and she'll do the whole thing where she shows you everything. How do you, how do you find that? The information on that? Account? So, um... Her phone <coughs> number. Yeah. For the tour? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can give you my phone number. You can okay. just yeah. text me or okay. whatever. So make sure to do that. We're coming at three. All right, tomorrow. Okay. Oh, so you're already booked too? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you're. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Nobody's going to take a picture, so I'll just sit in it. I'll be You know? Reading you. Ah. Nobody's sitting in front of me now. What are y'all standing there in front of me for? You got to get behind me. Right, you're back in the hall. <laughs> I just need my flashlight now. This spot I got to film it. Yeah, I see why Elvis would like this chair. It's comfortable. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? This photo of Elvis, I thought it was a print. It's done with Sharpie. This is like an original. Wow. Anyway, it's cool. That is cool. Did 
So guys, come see Courtney at the Memphian, and you will see where Elvis loved to rent the theater and watch movies. Eighth row was right around there where the stage is. Yeah. Alright guys, look at that photo on your phones. Okay. That's when Elvis July 4th gets off the train, 1956, to walk to Audubon. That gas station that you see right there is where these cars are sitting right here at the light. That building is to the right of it. This building right here would have been on this corner. So Elvis got off right over there and walked. You know, we've talked about him walking to Audubon. So he got off about where that Jeep is at and walked down that sidewalk and went to the Audubon house down there. So where he's at in that photo is where these cars are it's coming. right there where the cars are coming across. Coming across. And that photo right there waving at the conductor. So he took off walking down that way. And Bill Morris, uh, Elvis's friend, Memphis Mafia member as well, we had lunch with him last January at the half shell right there. It's another good place to eat. It's nice. that half shell. Mm -hmm. Really good. I recommend it. Mm -hmm. I made at it. A half shell in Memphis. Yep. Priscilla had her wedding shower in that round restaurant there on the top of the eye bank. Yep. All right, so y'all just did the part two three-hour tour with me and the spa guy. What'd you think about it? It was really good. It was amazing. Really good. We had a good group of people on the van. We all had fun talking, asking questions, and yeah. saw a lot of places that um, wouldn't have seen or noticed otherwise. And mm -hmm. um, number one thing for us and why we signed up is because um, we don't feel safe just riding around some of these places by ourselves and things like that and so yeah. it was just a way to really be able to see all those things and you felt safe with Billy yeah yes yeah okay. most definitely yeah thank you for you know buying the ticket and I hope you learned something like you said you probably learned a lot what is oh, something yeah. that stands out um gosh <laughs> I, I really enjoyed going to the Memphian and oh, where yes. Elvis met Linda and things like that and seeing the chair and that was really, I mean, gosh, there's so much. There's I know. So much that was, <laughs> what was yours? I was, that Memphian was going to be mine. <laughs> just yeah, because the, of, the yeah. cemetery, seeing reds, uh, that was, I mean, Audubon, I mean, just a lot. Um, this goes on and on. Yeah. I know. The place where he was on the flatbed truck where Marty Lacker was yeah, and all we, that. We, we stopped at a place where he had a concert in 55. Yeah. 54. I, I mean, and also like, when I've come to Memphis before, I've only seen like the some areas that, like I said, didn't make me feel comfortable. Today, I saw some areas of Memphis I didn't even know existed, and the history and the beautiful yeah. homes and things like that, and all the businesses and industry that started here. It's, it's just great. Well, I hope you got you guys enjoying us on our part one. And we're probably going to be working on a part three at some time. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for watching and for touring with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Billy, what year did uh, Elvis Presley Boulevard get named Elvis Presley Boulevard? 71. 71. There's a photo of Vernon with a sign behind it. I wonder how many of those signs have been stolen over the years. Seven. Seven of them. Mm -hmm. I'll say eight since Elvis liked the number eight. 